Hey, welcome to the Paddle Channel. I'm going to talk about how we made this uh, selfie stick for the Outrigger Canoe uh, One Man. And you can see here we get a pretty good angle of your buddy who's paddling near you um, thanks to the wide angle lens uh, on the GoPro. We'll talk about how I wrapped it up here on the Yaku here in just a minute. There's a good look of the uh, there's a good look at the selfie stick. You can see we used uh, inner tubes from bicycle tires to tie it down. I was pretty stoked as you can uh, hear. And here's another angle uh, using the selfie stick. So we basically just took an old stand-up paddle. Uh, carbon fiber stand-up paddle. It was broken, so we wanted to use it. Um, what we did was we would take an inner tube from a bicycle tire and wrap it around the Yaku first. Um, this gives the stand-up paddle handle something to grip to, something to hold on to. And it probably keeps you from scratching up your, your uh, Yaku as well. So you can see I wrapped the uh, inner tube around and then I used the handle. The handle grip actually gives a good base. And that's pretty key. You've got to have that handle grip so you can use the other inner tubes to wrap around. So you can see that's probably from like a beach cruiser or mountain bike inner tube that we sliced and cut up to use. So we get it started taking an educated guess on the angle that you want and wrap it several times. You're gonna learn you'll figure out what angle works best for you. You'll figure out how much inner tube you really need to use. Um, we tend to use probably more than we need to, but if you don't use enough, we found the hard way that the the selfie stick would dip, especially if you slam the AMA down real hard. So this looks like this inner tube is from uh, like a racing bicycle, and I like it because it's narrow, but it's super strong. And you can really get it on tight and wrap that um, that paddle handle really tight. And you can see I'm making faces because that's how what you got to do. You got to make a face to get it tight. <laughs> so I've got a, I got one more um, inner tube that I put on top of that just for good measure. And this might be overkill, but I really want it to stay tight. I don't want to have to worry about it when I'm paddling. I certainly don't want to have to go for a swim to get it out of the water. Um, and you can see in the background with the ocean, the ocean didn't really look especially good for downwinding. But that ride I just showed you was from this day. And you'll see another ride towards the end of the video that I was super stoked on and um, so looks can be deceiving um, we we do have some good bumps some good downwind conditions here in North Carolina um, okay so at the end of that selfie stick I'm using a clamp that GoPro sells and a gooseneck that Go, GoPro sells and here's a really good ride There's another angle. It's a good size wave. That was fun. So you can see that sticks pretty steady, and even with the GoPro and the and the uh, gooseneck, it's not bouncing around too bad. <laughs> pretty stoked there. That was a great two or three bumps that s stuck together. I don't know if you heard me. I said thank you Jesus. <laughs> 